Welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will once again be talking about the brand Lug. More specifically, a recent haul of mine where I'm actually going to be featuring the Hopscotch and the Zipliner 2. So I'll go through the first few things that I got um, in the beginning and then I will go through those two bags towards the end in more depth. Please forgive me if this turns out to be a little bit longer than normal. Let's get started. So first and foremost, I got sent the landing pads. Um, these are the coasters that Lug has available. This was a free gift and I really, really appreciate it. And I actually do use them. I have another set from a different order um, and I use both sets. So very, very useful. Thank you very much, Lug. The thing I got was the mini Choo Choo pill case in butterfly gray. You will definitely notice a theme in this video. Um, I don't use the enclosed pill case. I actually just use this as a little pouch. So I really, really love that. Then I got a one and a half inch gray strap. Um, I am planning on destashing a couple of my bags, actually quite a few. And one of them had this strap. Obviously, I want to make sure that that bag has the strap included, but I really, really liked the strap, so I decided to get another one. Then <laughs> I got the swing, again, in butterfly gray. It has your belt loops. It has your front pocket with a magnetic closure. On the inside, you have that beautiful print along with a privacy pocket, your small cargo pocket right underneath that and on the flip side a clear identification window plus more room than you would actually think now this is giving me the same kind of issue that my other swing did where this kind of stays folded however once you pack the bag it's totally fine now when I tell you, besides this bag being a great price, when I tell you that I purchased it specifically so that I could get this butterfly gray strap with the chain, I'm not exaggerating. I love this strap. I have one in black and now I have this one and I actually put it on my Coupe XL, which is also butterfly gray. So it looks super, super cute. And then the last smaller item I will be going over is this. It is a parasail in River Walk. Um, I really, really underestimated the size of this bag. I actually have it packed with some things just to kind of give an example of capacity. It's very well made. I really, really enjoy the colors. I've never really had a toiletry bag before and that's kind of what I consider this like size wise. Um, but very, very nice. Uh, it has this beautiful front zippered compartment. In here, uh, I actually, you can place them in products, which is very nice, or anything really, but that's just what I have as an example. And then the top has a nice fully enclosed zipper. You have these two loops too, so you can hold on, or they are looped, so you can actually hook like um, a strap on here and just kind of carry it as a little bag, which I think some people have done. In here, I have a chapstick, a full-size deodorant, a little face moisturizer, and because I'm always talking about little pouches that you can put in your carry-on to carry your unmentionables, I actually fit in here a tank top, a pair of underpants, a sports bra, and a small pair of no seam socks. So you really can fit so much in here and the inside is fully wipeable. So if you were to put in shampoo bottles or anything that you fear might leak, they will be enclosed and protect whatever else you have in your bag besides this. So really, really like that. Now, let me get these. The first bag that I would like to talk about is the Hopscotch. I purchased mine in butterfly gray. I had seen this a while back that this pattern was now being offered in the style bag. I was unable to get my hands on it. So as soon as I saw that it was available where I could purchase it, I snatched it right up. As I'm sure every single person in the universe knows, butterfly gray is my absolute 
favorite, favorite pattern that Lug has at the moment. And I don't know, I just want everything in it. So let me talk about this beautiful bag. Let's go to the front first. So you see this beautiful quilting. I love how there's just this strip of butterflies across the front too. That really, really, I, I don't know, I love that. Um, but beautiful quilting along with a nice zippered compartment. It is fleece lined. And this is where I keep my cell phone. It is as big as my iPhone XR and it does have a pop socket attached to it. Um, as you can see, the strap is not removable, but it is fully adjustable and it is the nice one and a half inch thickness. There is a piece of metal hardware here where you can actually affix your items. So I do have my butterfly gray, yep, heart pouch. And I have my newest acquisition, a little tiny butterfly bath and body works hand sanitizer holder. I miss my little s'mores dude, but I wanted the butterfly. So then underneath that zippered compartment is a flap, nice magnetic closure. On the underside, you will see there is a mesh pocket. Very, very nice zipper. Now it does share real estate with your phone pocket. So you may wanna be careful about what you put in here. I just have a very slim nail file at the moment. However, I have put in individual wipes in here and that worked out very nicely as well. This part of the bag, um, some people like to keep tech in. Uh, I'll give you some examples in a second, but what I personally keep in here is just a pouch with my phone um, accoutrements in there and my travel size Lysol along with my little mini flashlight. However, so this is my Kindle. It has a protective case. You can fit that in there and still put the flap over no problem. Um, this is not fleece line, but it still offers some protection. Unfortunately, and I'll show you, this is my Microsoft Surface. This does not fit in there. So just a little something to keep in mind, but it is actually a quite convenient pocket for easy access items. When you go to the back of the bag, you have another nice zippered compartment. In here, you will have your two pen slots and I just keep my two reusable totes, a note bag and a comb, but it is quite nice. The pen slots are the only organizational feature in that pocket. And to the bottom of the bag, I'm very excited to say that it does have the feet. So that makes me very, very happy. Um, so you can rest it on some surfaces and not worry too much about getting it dirty. There are no side pockets, but let's get to the main compartment. Now, I love that this main compartment zipper is a little bit chunkier than all the other zippers. I just think it adds a nice aesthetic touch. Um, very, very smooth, of course. Per lug standard, you do have your grab tab when you wanna close it back up makes it very comfortable on the body. I'll put a picture here uh, of what it actually looks like on me. And then the inside, you have quite a few organizational features. So let me take what's out of the main portion first, and then I'll show you those features. So in here, I'm able to fit my Vera Bradley personal notebook food journal. I switched back to my personal A6 size leather planner. So I'm able to fit that in there along with my splits XL. So you have quite a bit of room in that main compartment. It also has a key bungee. Again, I prefer key bungees because you can just throw whatever you need to at there and then fish around and grab it very, very easily. So those are my husband's spare keys. You will see that it has two cargo pockets. In the first cargo pocket, I just have my Bagalini coin pouch. And in the other, I can fit the smaller of the two seesaw pouches in there. So that's very convenient. On the flip side, you will see that you have a privacy pocket. Uh, I don't have anything here at the moment. And those are your internal organizational features. Obviously there is no clear view, but in my opinion, I think this mesh kind of takes the place of that clear view. So that is it for this bag. This is among my top favorite style lug bag and now I have 
three of them. And now the last bag that I would like to show you that I got in my haul and through the magic of editing, I have packed it up is the Zipliner 2. I was a bit bummed because during the Lug Mania week, I could not get my hands on this. It literally was sold out virtually as soon as it was available for sale. So I waited until the following Monday um, and I kept refreshing the app and I miraculously was able to get this particular uh, pattern, which of course is the Butterfly Gray. Oh my goodness, I cannot express to you how happy I am that they made this have a crossbody option. Now, I will say, I'll put a picture in here. I'm five, six and a half-ish, uh, probably more closer to the five, six range, and I'm a size 12, 14 large. So it does sit a little higher than I normally like my crossbodies to be, but it is absolutely doable. It works just fine. I took it out in the real world, used it, and I will not be using this as a backpack. Um, I like that it has that feature in case I need it, but for me, it is all about the crossbody. Um, I love the shape of the overall bag, so having it as a crossbody was just, it made me so happy. This holds a ton. Um, I'll put a picture here though. I tried it as a backpack with the straps fully extended. It looks ridiculous. You, you can't wear it as a backpack when you have your straps fully extended. But I know I've gone through this bag before, so I'll be really, really quick. They have added um, a couple different things. Of course, one of which being your fully adjustable cross body strap. Love it. Now, because there is no removable strap, you have to affix your heart pouches and your sanitizer holders if you choose to use some um, onto the little rings on the side, which could interfere with you making it a backpack. But because I keep it crossbody, that's not an issue for me. On the bottom, you do have your feet, which I love. On the front, you have your pocket on pocket action. Very cute. Sometimes I don't know what to put in here, but um, you know, if you have business cards or something along those nature, thin packaged mints you can put in here. So very slim profile items. In this pocket, I have all my phone accessories. And in this one, I have my Lysol and my flashlight. So that is that. Uh, also on the front of this bag, you will see you have your dedicated cell phone pocket, fully fleece lined in here. Again, roughly the size of my iPhone XR with the pop socket attached and very, very nice. Goes down pretty far. So the magnet does close over it nicely underneath that phone pocket and it shares real estate is a zippered compartment. So I just put a very slim profile notebook in there. On the back, you have another pocket. In this pocket, and I didn't put the pens back in, sorry, you do have your two pen slots, which I love, and I'm able to put both my reusable grocery totes in there with no problem. Another thing about the new zip liner is this gorgeous quilting. I love it. Normally, I'm not a fan of quilting all over a bag, but for some reason for me, it, this quilting just works on this bag. So it's very, very aesthetically pleasing in my mind. And the last feature of the outside of the bag is of course the dedicated insulated pocket, which I love. In here, I have a protein shape and a protein bar. I'm going to keep those in there though, just to show you how it looks on the inside because that pocket does share real estate with the inside of your bag. Open up to the inside, incredibly spacious. What they have done is they have given you a privacy pocket behind your two cargo pockets. I don't have anything in there, um, but let me take everything out and show you. So I have my A6 planner again, my Splits XL. I also have my food journal in the main portion of the bag. And as you can see, this is where that insulated pocket is, but I was still able to fit all that stuff in there with no problems. If I wanted to, I could put these items back in and I could also fit my Kindle in here and still have it zip up with no problems. And I also, can fit just 
just the surface itself in there, or if I wanted that little added level of protection, the attached keyboard offers protection over the um, screen. Now, it doesn't quite zip, but I can still stick it in there in a pinch. So the keyboard makes it not be able to zip over. However, if I put just the surface in there, zips up, no problem. So just to give you an idea of the capacity of this bag, again, I'm so happy, like chef's kiss. Mwah. Amy, you knocked it out of the park with this one, making it a crossbody. I know that tons of people were asking for it. I'm so happy it finally happened. Um, all right, so I showed you that inside where the insulated pocket shares real estate. There are two cargo pockets underneath that initial privacy pocket that I showed you. Um, I just had the smallest of the seesaw pouches in one and my Babylonian coin pouch in the other. There is also a key bungee, very, very handy. And you do have, which I don't have anything in here at the moment, but you have a nice clear view pocket. Very, oh, excuse me, I do have something in here. I have my comb and my uh, nail file. Very, very deep, spacious pocket. So you really can have all the features you could possibly want in this bag for all your organizational needs. And it looks really, really cute. So that is everything for this haul. So thank you as always for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it more than you know, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.